Luke Gale is going to get the ball, a big chase on it, and Luke Gale with a drop, goal! He has kicked it, Luke Gale! Luke Gale takes Catholic for Tigers, 2-0 Trafford! 17 was a great year, personally and collectively, uh, played in a World Cup final, Grand Final, all right, we kind of got beaten both, but uh, I got Man of Steel, and everyone's giving you pats on the back, and that's easy, but you kind of learn more about yourself uh, when you're in under adversity or under the pump, and you, you probably, it, it, it's tough, there's no doubt it's tough, but as I say, I think you come through the other side, which I've done, and I've probably learned more about myself in the last two years than I have done through my whole career. Um, and adversity is something I've kind of dealt with, as I say, not getting through at Leeds, um, going a different route to, to achieve my dream. So it's something I've kind of been used to anyway. So um, look, the last two years have been no different. So yeah, I'm out of that now and uh, I've probably learned a lot, as I say, and uh, it's probably made me a better person. Uh, hopefully it's made me a better player as well. Look, I'd be lying if I didn't think there was, uh, would I ever get back? Uh, I have, I've had them thoughts definitely. I can remember when I was at Castleford and the physio Matthew Crowver, uh, who did a great job. Um, at my first kind of running session, uh, my first acceleration, and it, it, I felt like it was impossible. Um, I can remember kind of the session didn't go great, and sat on the sideline um, training by myself. The lads had finished, and probably had 10, 15 minutes to myself, and just thought how tough that was and would I ever get back. So I'd be lying if I didn't say there were dark days, but um, look, I suppose you've got to be uh, mentally tough. Uh, I think that's the toughest part of it. Your mental state is, is massive and my family have helped me, the physio, as I say, uh, Castleford, the club helped me, and then coming to Leeds, the physios have been great here too, the conditioners. So I've had all that help to, to get back to where I am today, so I'm forever grateful for that. I'm, I'm grateful for being able to do the job I love. Um, and kind of the year out, kind of puts things into perspective. I'm, 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 I'm lucky I can do this for my, my job. It's, it's my dream job. So uh, yeah, it puts things into a lot of perspective. And look, and a lot of people can say, look, oh, he's, he's getting old, he's, too in, he's, he's had too many injuries, but that kind of, that, that gets you up on a morning. That that's the intri intrinsic drive that that, that, that fuels me. So um, yeah, just learn uh, obviously how to be resilient, how to uh, to bounce back from adversity and, um, and and get back up on the horse, so to speak. Yeah, look, from being probably eight, ten years old, I was a south stander. There was a wall then. I used to sit on the wall from being yeah ten to probably sixteen. So. Um, when, when the opportunity come up, it was something I wanted to, uh, to jump at, to be honest. And I think it was the right time as well. Um, Leeds, obviously, the um, kind of like to lead on the pitch. Um, since probably Kev, Rob and Danny, the great players, have, have retired. And um, I knew that I could kind of help the team and, and my qualities would help this group. And I think Leeds are on a, a start of a new journey as well. Um, and I wanted to be part of it. They've had great years, uh, probably one of the biggest clubs in the world and it's kind of the start of a new journey. Um, last couple of seasons haven't been great but I believe with what we've got in, the coaching staff, Rich Egg has been great, the new kind of group of players, I think we've got a great mix of old and youthfulness and me involved with that and hopefully I can help get them, them young lads through and kind of be a bit of a mentor to them as well so yeah it was something I wanted to be be part of, jump on this journey and who knows where it could go.